Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test. Going over the secondary controls of the vehicle for you, for those of you learning how to drive. I'm gonna go over those in the 2019 Toyota Camry that I have here. Uh, if you're just learning how to drive and you're on your learner's license, then I recommend that you drive as many different vehicles you can leading up to your license. In the couple of months before your license, they'll try and stick to the same vehicle. But in getting into different vehicles and whatnot, you'll be able to find out and learn the similarities between different vehicles. So that's what we're gonna go over today. Stick around, we'll be right back with that information. Welcome back, Smart Driver, going over the secondary controls today. We're gonna to start on the door here, and here on most of them, you're gonna have power windows on most late model vehicles, uh, and there'll be automatic switches. If they have an A on them, you just push it once, click it all the way down, and then the window will roll all the way to the bottom. As well on here, you have the door locks, which open and close, uh, lock out for the rear. If you have kids or young children in the back and they're playing with the locks, you can lock out, uh, with the windows rather, you can lock out the windows so the controls don't work in the back of the vehicle. Uh, a, lot, a lot of vehicles in this day and age are going to be uh, power mirrors and it's left or right, whichever mirror you want to adjust. And then there's a multi-directional switch here on the door panel. Okay, here on the left side of the steering wheel, uh, we've got the switch for the automatic high beams driving at night. Traction control, if you get the vehicle stuck, you can turn the traction control off and rock the vehicle to get it out. As well, there's the trunk and the fuel cap uh, hold and open up they're both electric and uh, for the fuel cap if you're not sure which side of the vehicle on it is if you look at the fuel gauge here there'd be an arrow there and that will tell you which side of the vehicle the fuel fill is on for the purposes of getting fuel and keeping the vehicle going up and down the road up underneath the steering wheel on the left side of the instrument console here we have a trip odometer and that's for when you go for a trip you can set it to zero and it'll tell you how many kilometers or miles you drove as well up here is the uh, setting to dim and brighten the dash lights and if you're driving at night I would recommend that you have those at the lowest setting possible that you can stand to reduce fatigue while you're driving at night okay steering wheel uh, there's a switch on each side the one on the left is for signals down up signal and then as well you have the lights uh, automatic they'll come on automatic when it gets dark parking lights which is just your orange and red lights on the vehicle and then full lights on you can turn them completely on high beams are push it back and it will come on high beam pull it back for low beams most of the time on these newer vehicles you're just going to leave it on automatic on the right side of the steering wheel is the windshield wipers once down is for intermittent and you can control intermittent how fast it goes with this other one with this ring switch here two is low down is uh, completely down is on high it's unlikely you're gonna put them on high unless it's really really raining and then to spray the windshield just pull it towards you and you'll get the spray on to the windshield there steering wheel controls there's a lot of steering wheel controls on the left here and most of these are used for your cell phone and controlling the radio and the stereo uh, in the infotainment center here in the center of the vehicle I'm not gonna go over those on the right side of the steering wheel you have your uh, lane departure assist which you can turn off and on you also have cruise control and you can set the distance from vehicles in front of you and have the cruise control deal with all of that or you can just leave it on manual mode resume set uh, and uh, how fast you want the vehicle to go and I'll put a complete video up I'll put a card up in the corner here for you and a complete video on cruise control so that's essentially the steering wheel up here on the right side of the steering wheel you have the ignition uh, most of them are going to have four positions uh, some of the older ones might have a fifth position which is the lock to lock the steering wheel but it's off accessory so you can run the radio and whatnot while the engine's not running and then it's on which starts up everything gets the engine ready to go wait for the lights to some of the lights to go out and then you start it don't hold it for more than two or three seconds at most and then just release it and it'll stay in the on position and you're ready to go and drive and then to turn it off most of them you're going to have to push the switch in to unlock it so it'll go completely to the off position because then it locks the steering wheel and you can remove the key. In the center here at the top is the most important button. You want to know where your four-way flashers are. It's right here in the top. Uh, the only time you're going to activate, activate four-way flashers is if you're pulled over on the side of the road for an emergency or you're going slow down a road and you're looking for an address or something like that, then you'll activate your four-ways. Don't put them on in bad weather on a roadway. It just annoys other drivers, so don't do that. All right, and then uh, heat controls. For the purposes of learning how to drive, at minimum, you're gonna have to know how to turn on the air conditioning if it's hot where you live. If it's cold, turn on the heat. You're gonna have to know how to turn on the defrost. 
to keep the glass clear inside the vehicle so that you stay safe and can, can observe while you're driving. For the temperature controls on the vehicle, on the left side is usually going to be the fan and the setting for the fan and how high you want the fan to run. And then on the right side, it's going to give you your temperature control, whether you want it right cold for air conditioning or you want it right left for full heat uh, to defrost the windows and whatnot. On most all newer vehicles, there's also going to be an electric defrost for the rear window. Turn that on as well. And you should be able to do that without looking at the panel uh, in case you have to do that on your driver's test. Up here at the top, we got a couple of buttons to turn on interior lights. And as well, you have your uh, sunglass case push. Put your sunglasses in there. All right. And then just push it up again. And down here, you have a 12-volt plug-in for plugging in accessories. Uh, in the old days, it used to be a cigarette lighter, but those are all gone now. And then you'll have your USB port as well for your phone so you can charge it while you're driving. And as well, you can link it into your audio system so that you can be safe while you're driving down the road. But for those of you on a provisional license or on a learner's license, you can't have any electronics in the vehicle. You can't use your phone at all. So I suggest to you either put it in the back and put it away somewhere so you're not tempted by it or get yourself a holder for your phone so you're not going to touch it while you're driving. You can use it for your GPS. Simply put it in the holder, set it up before you go, and then just leave it alone and let it run. So those are the secondary controls on this Toyota Camry 2019. Uh, that'll get you going. If you have any questions about any of the secondary controls, leave me a comment down in the comment section there. I'll be more than happy to help you out with your particular vehicle. And if you can't figure something out, we'll help you out and get you going. For another video, click here. And to subscribe, click here. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.